Hello, everybody. This is Vince Gilligan, executive producer of uh, Breaking Bad. Uh, Brian Cranston is here. Uh, Jonathan Banks. Uh, Aaron Paul. Jennifer Hutchison. I wrote this episode. Stu Lyons, line producer, UPM. And Mike Slovis in New York. <laughs> Although it sounds like you're in the room with us, Michael. <laughs> I wish I was. I wish you were, too. <laughs> it smells like Doritos in here. That's okay. <laughs> My first shot is because of me. <laughs> Michael, where, where did you shoot this? How did you get that effect there? This, this is actually much more complicated than it looks because this is a set that we have that had removable walls so we could get the lighting just right and create this sense of darkness and mystery. If we were shooting in the back of a real truck, um, it would be impossible to do this. And the, the, the condensation, the breathing condensation that came out of the, the mouths, how, how did oh, that Oh, that's affect? very interesting. Great question. I totally forgot. Uh, that's very difficult to do. And um, we actually had a piece of dry ice in a little cage inside the actor's mouths. Dry ice, huh? Mm-hmm. Which will burn you if you're not careful. There's a great old story in, uh, in um, um, Frank Capra's autobiography about an old movie. He did a silent movie, which they did the same exact trick, and one of the actors got annoyed with the, the, the plastic cage in his mouth, or back then it was some, I don't know, it was plastic, whatever it was, in the 20s, and he got annoyed, and he said, ah, this damn thing, and he popped the dry ice out of the cage and popped it directly in his mouth, and, oh. he, and it, he started screaming in pain, and it froze a big chunk of his tongue, and it, he lost a bunch of teeth, and it really messed him up for the rest wow. of his, his wow. life. Yeah. Wow. See? So, I, w I was smarter than that, Vince. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yes, you were. You were much. And Maurice Compte here in the middle. Uh, uh, excellent actor. Really, he's really good in this. I love this. Very scary. I love cutting between the two. Yeah. The action on the inside and the coolness on the at this. So how does that work? He's obviously shooting blanks, Michael, but uh, our, our special effects team also sets up squibs so that uh, uh, holes get blown in and they sort of have to sync up. They have to look like they're in sync there. Exactly. They pre-drill those holes and then they fill them full of um, material that can be blown away with small explosions like firecrackers, and then um, our guys, when, when there's a lot of shots like that, you don't have to sync them up too much because everything's going at once, and as the more, the more action there is, the more confusion, so we just buy it. That's true. Um, but uh, what was di what's difficult is actually to get those little rays of light coming through those holes. Talk about that, because it, it seems like, you know, how, how is it, what, what is involved with putting the light outside to make that happen? Well, the, actually, it's a very small set that bought the back of that truck, but the entire stage has to be smoked up so that it's even and you don't see wisps of smoke being blown around. Ah. And then a lot of light, a lot gets, of light. gets pumped through those holes. I wonder what happened to the, that truck trailer's doors, Yeah, the, the, all the holes that were shot through it. Yeah, I know. I think they use fake doors. I think our, our construction guys and our special effects guys. I actually, I have those doors hanging up in my house. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I stepped on the uh, They were given the to joker. him as a gift. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 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 As nope. an art piece. That's one of those gifts you're like, no, what the hell do I do with this for the next 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is I only like it. 8 feet by 11 feet here. Where am I going to put this thing? There's a lovely... Actually, I think that's the exact dimensions of those doors. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Jeez, that's a big... That's that's so, yeah. That's like, wow. <laughs> that was nice of them. Yeah. I'm sure they meant well. The, the lovely Anna gun here. This, this is was crazy. one of my favorite experiences was doing this scene. We had such a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, um, when you direct... You're not uh, the director of photography. How is that relationship uh, working with a, a new person who comes on, basically taking over for that episode of what you have done? I tell them exactly what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I actually find it, and I think you guys will all back me up, I, I find it very easy to step away from that. I, I, do, I do go over, as does Vince, thematically what where we are in the season, what I've been doing up until that point. But I really am very hands-off on the lighting. I'm very specific about where I want the camera, but I'm very hands-off about the lighting. Unless there's something 
that needs to be repeated, like the, the opening sequence here where we saw the, the backlit smoke coming out of their mouths, that is an echo back to two episodes previous to this in the sequence of, ser of episodes. So um, that I pretty much said, this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And Nelson Craig, who, um, who, who shot this for us, did a, did a fabulous job. It did, it did indeed. Might do this one, of the, one of the advantages, I could say, of, of directing in your, you know, in your home situation where you work a lot is the familiarity that we all have with one another. We're like a family on the set. So it's not like somebody new. Very often in episodic shows, uh, guests come in and direct. So they're mm -hmm. called guest directors. So somebody new who's never worked there before. But since I work with the actors, the writers... Everybody on a on a daily basis. There's a familiarity and there's this a is tremendous a amount of support. This when, is a great shot. It, it's a simple shot, but this, it's so much more interesting than if you were just shooting a straight on. Man, he was looking for. Me. Of course, if you're shooting a straight on, you'd see yourself in the mirror. Oh, I didn't mean that way. <laughs> I just kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> no, he Stick wasn't. Stick to writing. Will you? <laughs> He's a hell of a director, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> he meant this straight yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> it is. This is a great, uh, this is, uh, I, I do love the coverage in this scene. It is excellent. And this, uh, this, this shot is, is, is very typical for the vocabulary, vocabulary of our show as well. It, in, in many other shows, a shot like this just would not work. And uh, in our show, it, it really, really fits into the way we tell the stories. Yeah. And Jennifer, Jenny, you yes. did a wonderful job writing this episode. Yes. Thank you. Jenny was my assistant way back when on the X-Files. I met you when, 1999? 1999. Man. Yep. Yeah. That's when we partied. She That's slept right. her yeah. way to the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mother's going to listen to this. Right? <laughs> I haven't told her that yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, then. She slept her way to the top. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Uh, Jenny did a great job uh, writing this episode, and uh, and uh, yeah, her mom is gonna listen to this. <laughs> and never. And she was good. <laughs> is that, is that, am I helping? Oh, yeah. oh, wow! Wow! Let's just hope my dad doesn't listen. <laughs> it's not true. It never happened. None of it's true. That she's not good. Thank you. Well, no, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, All right, let's settle down. Let's yeah, settle down. let's settle down. It's so nice to finally make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So to speak. Let's change the subject. Look how pretty Anna's eyes are. Yeah. 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 Wow. The, I the love fake looking one matches the real one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Boy, both of them. Her fake eye is so amazing. You can't even tell which one it is. I know. <laughs> A hundred dollars to any viewer who can guess which one is the fake one. <laughs> and look at your teeth after you had them whitened. They're just <laughs> incredible. That's the truth. No, it's not the truth. Oh, I love this. This is great. Teacher cancer, desperate for money. Okay, we're done. Here. Roped into working for, unable to even quit. You told me that yourself, Walt. Just Brian, we rehearsed this for quite a while. Walt, yeah. please. Let's both of us stop trying to justify this whole thing and admit you're in danger. Who are you talking to right now? Who is it you think you see? Do you know how much I make a year? I mean, even if I. And Jenny, you, one of my favorite lines coming up. Do you know what would happen? <laughs> Please, let's be quiet and watch this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Disappears. Show like some respect. It's <laughs> <laughs> some. For Anna. I <laughs> don't know who you're talking to, so let me clue you in. I am not in danger, Skyler. I am the danger. A guy opens his door and gets shot, and you think that of me? You're so butch. I am the one who knocks. Oh. Yeah, my favorite line there. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> how long? How long did this whole scene uh, take to shoot? Do you guys remember? You know, you know. I think we rehearsed this for a good yeah. hour. I oh, mean, okay. I think we that's, or more. That's really a good use of time. Now, were you actually naked there? Buck naked. Buck I naked. insist okay. on it each oh, yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you were naked a lot in the show. It's to show that scar. That's, that shot right there is yeah. to show the scar to remind the audience 
of the surgery that was done on him. And that's really nice hot water that they were able to do, and I appreciate that. Did they, um, they went with the hot water. I asked them to use cold. Th <laughs> yeah, shrinkage with cold. You don't want that. <laughs> that shower shot was actually the last shot we did for the episode. Oh, that's right. It? It yeah, was. it was. Ah. Jenny was in there with me. We were soaping <laughs> up together. <laughs> yes. Oh, damn it. Your mother's going to watch this. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mom. Come, do the commentary. It'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a nice cut. Very well edited, as always, of our wonderful editors. Who was the editor on this one? Kelly. Kelly. And Kelly, and Kelly did a great job. Great. These so transition great. periods are yeah. so wonderful. Here's uh, Maria Stan, who plays, uh, who plays uh, Bogdan. Bogdan. He is incredible. He's great. Like we love Marius. You want to give a little background on him? Yeah. yeah. We're doing the pilot. I, I may have told the story, but it bears repeating. I may have told it already. But Marius, uh, his family wanted to be extras on TV. And uh, our wonderful, uh, now passed away, unfortunately, extras mm -hmm. casting uh, person, uh, Gwen Savage, uh, had, you know, took photos of, of Marius's family. They came in and uh, they were interviewed. And, and, and he had simply driven them down from Los Alamos, where at the time he was a honest to God. <laughs> Uh, nuclear scientist. I think he was, he's actually a, a materials scientist. But he's a physicist. This guy is like a real, he's like the real Walter White, except, you mm -hmm. know, minus the, uh, the selling of the meth and whatnot. But he's like a genius guy. And he had just driven his family down. He was just their chauffeur for the day. And Gwen, yes, God bless her, she said, you know, how about you? Uh, would you like your photo taken? Could we put you into the extras uh, uh, file? And um, he said, well, whatever, what the hell. And um, I saw his photo when we were casting the pilot, and I said, I love this guy's look. Can he act? And, and everyone kind of shrugged and said, we don't know. He's never acted before. And, wow. And here he is now. Yeah. He's really good. Not so much, maybe. Great. I love this scene. I love the scene between you two guys. He makes you look good, Brian. He does. Yeah. He you know, keeps his lunch in his eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, pulls, <laughs> he can pull out a sandwich no. out of there. Munch on it, take a snack. No. Lovely Marius. No. Oh, he, he knows. Yes. Oh. He's a good guy. I love him. Jenny's mother and Marius are both on the way down. <laughs> uh, from a, from a, a writing standpoint, uh, the scene, when this first started, when we were walking through the car wash, that's a practical location. This is uh, uh, on our stages. Um, and I want two, two questions. One to uh, Stu, uh, why not shoot at the car wash to shoot this part of it? Mm -hmm. And then for Jenny, the second half of that walk and talk uh, was cut. And, and what? And why was it cut? Maybe you can address that. You weren't that was good. Time? <laughs> Son of a... I'm going to talk about Jenny and her sexual prowess again. Oh, you know, oh, I'm doing it. Wow. I'm going there. It's just, it's just taking over. I'm just glad it's on tape. Yeah. <laughs> it's not tape. Maybe it's for not, the lawsuit, you mean? It could yes, be DVD exactly. or Blu-ray. Blu-ray. <laughs> Uh, so who wants to go? Shame the uh, reason you. for the car wash to be built on stage is uh, as we saw the season develop, we realized that we were going to be in it quite a bit. And once you have a location that you return to more than three times, it, it really makes sense to take a look at constructing it on stage. It gives us... Uh, a flexibility in terms of the angles that you guys can do and uh, control in terms of uh, lighting and and a, a lot of other areas of production. And it's cost effective. So it uh, it gives a better result and uh, saves money. Because talks do about how every time we leave the studio, how much does it cost to move the trucks and everything? It's about 20000 to $30,000 extra per day wow. exterior. Gotcha. This, uh, I, lo I love that Walter keeps the dollar this here. Is so, this is Walter. so messed up. <laughs> That's so good. Jenny, was that your touch? Uh, I think that was a room thing. Just take the credit for it. I take full credit. I take full credit. Look at this. It's beautiful. It really um, yes. Our, our challenge was that the, the pilot was shot completely on location. Right. And matching this uh, to the pilot, we had also been back to the real location, and, and this is slightly different. I love that, love, I love that. <laughs> this was funny, because we did, we did this at the real location, and, and, this, and the machine wouldn't take the dollar. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many times I put that in it. <laughs> wouldn't take it, wouldn't take it, wouldn't take it. It was like, <laughs> oh my God. 
You remember that, Michael? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and it was moving. We had people behind it holding it. It was just We're trying to push. It worked every time on the test, and then we would <laughs> shoot it, and it wouldn't work. That's what it was. Oh, there they are. Thank God. Finally. <laughs> now to the real scene. Okay, yes. here we go. Now. And this is interesting because this was shot during the day. Um, yeah. And wow. the, the, our grip department did an amazing job of tenting in this entire diner and making it night. Wow. So it's day outside of our tents that are outside of these windows. And um, uh, they, had, they actually had to take it away. They did it, what, Stu, in about 10, 15 minutes because we amazing. had to do that night exterior shot. Yeah, can we talk? Can we talk about the meatloaf? Yeah. <laughs> huh? yeah. how, how was the meatloaf? Uh, it was actually quite it good. Was, uh, <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> Anytime I can get fed. Some actors don't like to eat in scenes. You clearly do. I, from eat, the all, look of I, I eat all the time. <laughs> Just from your look. I think I cut quite a fine image, <laughs> rapier like. <laughs> <laughs> And, and like a lizard, his earpiece is starting to grow back. <laughs> <laughs> and isn't it amazing that even though, even though there's that age difference, you can hardly tell that there is between those two guys. Yeah, it's, it's like it's looking just, in a mirror. It it's is like looking amazing. into a mirror. Yeah. Wow. It is a very youthful sort of May-December thing you guys got going on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was That's more like May-June. Oh, I gave away a little uh, season five tidbit there, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh. I thought, hey, hey. I thought Jonathan's character just <laughs> dies in Mexico after the gunshot. Yeah, maybe I'm coming back. You, it's somebody, and you know what? You better send his sorry ass down there to get me. That's what you should do. <laughs> That's a good idea. Now, how often, uh, this seems like a, uh, this was a practical location. Mm-hmm. Loyola's was a, is, is a real restaurant right on Central in Albuquerque. And so sometimes those decisions are made because we're, we're already out, and so we might as well use that time to full, you know, fill up the, the day to... Yeah, you, you try not to move the trucks because that's time spent not filming. You want your day to be devoted to uh, the production as much as possible mm-hmm. and not the logistics of the production. You yeah. want you want your money on screen versus versus spending yeah. it on stuff that does not wind up Moving on screen. Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. You look so good in that that color, Brian. I can wear it because I'm I'm in touch with my feminine self. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It exactly. brings out the red in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and RJ Mitty here. RJ's great. We love RJ. Mm-hmm. And speaking to that end, guys, uh, everything interior in the White House is on a set, and all, and we tie them into exteriors that we shoot at a practical location. That's true. I, I love in that wide shot, you can see out the window, you can see into the backyard, and you, your eye, it's almost like your eye is, is creating the backyard, backyard for you, but really, is it not, Michael, just a bunch of, it's just a, just a couple flats with some uh, vines and stuff on them? It is. It's a recreation of their, their sort of rock ledge and garden that leads up to a uh, vine-covered wall. It's yeah. like you're an alcoholic, right? No. It's not, not at all. Yes, it is. I, I read online. She Which we now change to the seasons. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can't be mad at you about the cancer, cancer. Just like the color of my beard changes throughout. Not really. The spring, <laughs> summer, winter, fall <laughs> yes. sort of beard. What is That's it? the thing about this show. We, for years, we've, we've tried very hard to, to make this whole thing ta- take place in sort of a limbo time-wise. You're never, never really sure what time of year it is. Even though we, mm. uh, physically, production-wise, we've shot every single possible season there is, I think. Yes, we have. We've gone around the calendar twice. Well, yes. You're not moving back in, are you? How, uh, how, Michael, how is it to shoot these kind of scenes in a moving car? These are, these are great. We actually have gotten quite good at it, uh, working in and around Albuquerque. So um, uh, it's really, whereas in, if you shoot in a bigger metropolitan area, it might be a very big deal to jump out into a car. Uh, and do uh, and do traveling shots like this for us. We kind of schedule these things in between truck moves or in between yeah. set moves um, as a way to keep our production day moving along. This this shot is literally the camera operator in the back seat of the car with the actors in the front and the. And you, I, I don't even think we have a sound guy in there. I think they just turn it on and let us go. I think he's wow. jammed in the far back, and you were in the back seat, cramped down. It's right. it's really, it's really glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> it works. 
And Mark Freeborn and his crew created this, uh, uh, Jenny, is that correct? This uh, uh, created yeah. this uh, auto dealership? Yeah, was it? I don't know if it was just a regular parking lot, but yeah, all the signs and we wanted the weird dancing men. Well, that arms. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that sign uh, wasn't real. That's yes, a, yeah, right. that it was, was a green screen outside that window. Yeah, yeah that Chrysler sign. Chrysler, I got to say, it was very good to us. Uh, God bless him. And this is a cool car. A very cool car. My son would love this. Yeah. I would RJ too. liked it. Yeah, I would too, I in case the folks at Chrysler are listening. I yeah. would love one of these myself. Well, the Chrysler Corporation in general is one of the <laughs> top-notch the, the organizations best. in the world. <laughs> clearly. Yes, yeah, clearly. That's Brian Cranston who made that statement. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shot. I love this shot, Michael. It's a great shot. It, it, it's very telling. Not just because, uh, you know, uh, Aaron's junk is, like, foremost in the screen. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's that zoom lens at work again. <laughs> Trying to make it look bigger. <laughs> and that phallus right there with that uh, right. Italian yeah. cypress. <laughs> Very clear symbolism, Michael. Very it's, nicely it's, done. It's all going to be studied. Oh, this was a fun This was a great deal of fun, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a great shot. I love that shot. You've been taking with Mike. I told you already, we, we pick up money, check on things, stuff like that. It's just are, an honor when great. these guys work together. It's just what, what? so much fun That's to watch. That's true. I it is. It really is. It I really, love this really shot. Really is. Like a second set of eyes. Everybody yeah, it really, really is. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is right outside. This is a practical location right outside the uh, uh, the laundry uh, location. I love hey, in all seriousness, Aaron. That little thing you did with your leg just then. Does that? Do you plan that kind of stuff? Or is no, that? No, I th I, I think uh, that was Slovis, right? Yeah. I don't, um, and Jenny, Jenny, I just want to also bring out that originally this was all supposed to happen in the car. Yes, In the it original was. draft of the script. Yeah. It was. Because uh, I think we were worried about time or sound or something, but you very rightly were like, can we take this out of the car? <laughs> well, we were looking to physicalize what's going on in the scene. And, yeah. it, and, I, and fortunately, that, that barbed wire just played right into oh, our, our right. story. It's Fantastic. wonderful. Yeah. It's at, that was actually there, right? I mean, the barbed wire mm -hmm. is there, some of the graffiti. Mm -hmm. This is in a very industrial section of Albuquerque. All we did was put that truck because the storyline insisted that it have a, a, a sense of privacy here yeah. Yeah. where the cameras couldn't see. This has to be a private conversation. And all yeah, that exactly. in the background, that is the business next door, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And I want to point out, no. Argon is spelled wrong on one of these containers. It looks like it's got an extra N. Extra N. And that was not, uh, That these are not props. That's just the real place next door. Don't blame us for spelling <laughs> Argon wrong. Don't blame the prop department. Or the set dressing You're department. Such an asshole. Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. Like you said, Gus can't kill you because of me. He knows I won't stand. I love this coming he up. He needs me, and he hates the fact that he needs me. It so was a great so asset to the scene, I think, to get you guys on your feet, to be able yes. to move back and forth mm -hmm. and yeah. to make points of certain things. It was wonderful. I think I missed it, but I love this. This is all about me. <laughs> that was Brian speaking, not Walt. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Come oh, there on. it is. Okay. Yeah, wait, shush, shush. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <A> Douchebag. <laughs> I don't care. Me. Either. <laughs> yeah, Argonon. 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 There's the phallus again. Two phallus symbols. <laughs> Stop. There's three phallus symbols right there, my friend. And another. And another. <laughs> well, Jenny wrote it. <laughs> oh, she's so oh, nice. we, we know she's oversexed. <laughs> that we know. Oh, God. I'm so sorry to the parents. <laughs> I'm so sorry to the Sony legal department. <laughs> No one has apologized to me. It's another beautiful shirt worn by Jesse Pinkman. Uh, look, just hang on. You look like the Gloucester fisherman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love just how frustrated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like what am I? I you just handed back. Your receptionist. <laughs> I know that's what we, that was a good move, buddy. Am, am I supposed to clean all this on my own? I like that. I love it. Yeah. I love it. That's great. 
That's a great. Uh, movie. That yeah. was such a great, great set. It's fabulous. Yeah. Nice shot. The Michael. isolationism yeah. of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm wow. laughing already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These lovely ladies actually work there. Right? Vince's insistence on this one. <laughs> Two of them do. Two of them actually work at the laundry. Two of them actually do work at this real uh, industrial laundry that we shoot at. And they don't speak English. And they don't speak English. And then here's Walt in his in his high school Spanish. See, I need help to clean. <laughs> this the one the woman in the middle is an actress I believe yeah. who speaks English is that correct Jenny yes yes yeah uh, uh, and this is Celia Maria and Veronica yeah <laughs> and you were just uh, a, a, a fair bit of this because we Jenny will attest to this we obviously we, we go to great lengths to put everything in writing as it were but a lot of this is actually you guys kind of kind of uh, ad libbed a fair bit of this uh, this particular scene is that correct yeah, yeah. To to make it kind of immediacy and the and the level of importance of this and 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 I thought it was great to have just instead of really learning this, it'd have Walt struggle with the language and try to figure out how to communicate with him. It's this. I love this guy. I love this scene. I love these ladies. Yeah, this is. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> Universal language, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> Then wonderful and the fact job. They're also short. It's, it's just too tremendous. Hey, Michael, what is it? Because all these ladies are talking over each other, which is great, which is just how we wanted it. Is that tricky to shoot when people are talking over each other? It was very interesting because on the day they didn't do it. They waited for one. Uh, one would speak, and then the other would speak, and it just was not working. Yeah. So our solution was, I said, just give it a beat and then everybody talk. <laughs> oh, what a good shot. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's great. <laughs> they were game. They were wonderful. Well, they were game and they had such a good time. I would always see them afterwards and they were always laughing and smiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sweet ladies. Oh, so Stu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. This, this, this is a very interesting situation because Vince really wanted us to shoot at the Four Corners, mm -hmm. and which is how far from our About our six and a half hours. <laughs> Good Lord. <Yeah. laughs> but look how great this is. And I am here. so glad that, 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 that we hung in there with this and we made it happen because it was amazing. But this was a situation, one of the very, very few situations where we actually had a second unit go out and do uh, to storytelling. Yes, that, that's not Skyler. So, that's not Michael, Anna Gunn, Michael yeah. you didn't drive the six and a half hours, though. I did not. No, that's not Anna? No, that's not Anna. That's no not way. That, so this Anna is didn't want to go, huh? It's not that she didn't want to go. It was we couldn't take her away yeah. for six hours. And this is in the parking lot of our studio. Yeah. Wow, no this way. This is inside the stage, uh, looking down, lit by uh, Nelson for us. This is outside the parking lot once again. It's right. so great. Yeah. And we're going back to it's the only corners. way we could really This is that's stage. That's in our on our stage indoors in our stage. This is mm -hmm. again out in the parking lot. This is in the stage. Wow. And Stu, you did a great job with this. You Thank were you. you were the you were the second, and that's the real place again. That's the that's real the place. real four corners. With uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I for, forgive me. The, the stand-in's name for Anna. Jeez, uh, I'm throwing a blank. Suzanne Su Wilcox. Su Suzanne. Suzanne. Yeah, Suzanne. 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 Oh, yeah. how cute! Look at that cute. Suzanne did a wonderful okay. job. Okay. Suzanne actually worked with Anna, as well. We we rehearsed this back at the stage. Suzanne watched Anna do it, and then she uh, she duplicated it for us out there. Su Suzanne did an excellent job. Yeah, she did. Yeah. And it was filmed with a Canon 5D. It was not a uh, ah. film shot. It was not, it was not our typical 35 millimeter motion no, picture and it, film. No, and it intercut beautifully, and that was Michael's idea. Nice. Smart. What's the deal? Smart yeah. and scary. The technology just it's moving so fast. Well, it's amazing. The deal is we're watching that house. 
I love you two guys together. Mm. It was great. It's been so, it was, this season was just so fun working with uh, Jonathan Banks. I agree. It was an honor. So do I. Now, the pimento this, is this, really good. You wait till the pimento comes out, baby. I just told you. I don't know. His whole laconic act, I, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> then we ask a few questions and get our property back. Why don't you just go break the door down? Just to whip those bitches and try. <laughs> <laughs> whip, Jesse, whip up on those bitches. <laughs> Jesse's POV. Yeah. Don't ever change that. It's like <laughs> what you may not know about meth heads. By the way, and we'll probably talk about this in another episode, but uh, in case we don't, um, Aaron, you had the idea for Jesse to get uh, his hair cut. Yeah. And I thought that was an excellent idea, and it, it looks really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's just. Uh, you know, when you go through like a traumatic experience, a lot of the thing, a lot of, a lot of times, first thing you do is cut your hair off. And yeah, oh, there it is. Uh, I've never done that in traumatic experiences. Well, just cut my you know, hair. you're just you, very. You yeah. look so intense there, man. I love that shot. I love yeah. that. That is a great angle. On uh, you, like you're like a movie star there, man. <laughs> I, I love you. Are we just gonna ignore the pimento? <laughs> 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 Was the pimento good? Was the prop yes, actually was. good? Oh, right. these guys, these, these guys, guys are, are tremendous. good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's an Australian kid. Uh, here to buy. Not, Not this one, the other one. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is this is Blake, right? This is Blake. And yeah. he's excellent. Both these guys are excellent. Yeah. He yep. was really focused and just he was really just excited and Yes, yeah, so excited. Very professional. Yeah. Talker, we don't sell the strangers. Get off the porch, asshole. And it's way more difficult than you would think to portray this accurately without being too too much of a caricature. Yeah. All right, you, you rode that line perfectly, Michael. It's that these guys are funny and yet scary at the same time. And they're I love these guys. Well, it's just so odd that you you write that idea of, of a guy in the back screaming Tucker, Tucker, yeah. sh shut the door. Of course, that became a catchphrase on the set from the entire crew for the rest <laughs> of the season. <laughs> I love Jonathan. I love your. Uh, I love this slow burn here. I love <laughs> yeah, that laconic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love this. I love this reaction. Guess we'll go with Plan A. Then. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And I love. I love what you do here, Slovis. This shot coming up. Um, when he grabs. Oh, the, it's the it's the the, the camera the, the, the shovel the, the yeah. shovel cam. Oh yeah. It's it, it's just so great. Had to hire a tiny little man and the <laughs> camera operator. There's something in there I need. And what would that be? It was just too good, Vince. Well, I mean, from beginning to end, to choose which section of it to use was, oh, yeah. must have been hard. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great shot. The shot coming up with the... Uh, describe how this uh, the shot coming up with the camera on the shovel is actually done. Um... That we actually bolted a camera, a Canon uh, 5D, to the end of a shovel, and it's going to cut in right about now. There it is. And, um, there, there it is. is. Oh, wow. <laughs> right there. Yeah. So right below the uh, the bottom of the lip of the, of the shovel, our camera is mounted. <laughs> I love but it. that shot we actually took from inside the uh, trunk of the car. Oh, that's right, yeah. And it was just, I guess, too much of a good thing. It was, uh, it was, it was... Uh... It was, it was a very interesting shot, yeah. And then, and then at the end, uh, a little bit of uh, digital help making it look like it's actually going chunk into the dirt there. Oh, yeah, that was good. I dug that hole for <laughs> Yeah, you so did. Long. You did. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty warm by this point, yeah, I'd yeah. say. Digging. Why? You know. Well, you know why. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this, just story-wise, this is just so brilliant. I don't know. This actor was quite good as well. Is? is this Blake Barris? Yes. yes. Yeah. I assume that's a lot of makeup on Blake. He doesn't normally He's actually a good-looking kid. Yeah. <laughs> he went f right from this show to Walking Dead. And it, was, it was perfect. <laughs> you mind taking over for a minute? Did they prepare the ground for you guys to make it easier yeah, to dig? Yeah, yeah, they did. Wouldn't it be weird if you're like digging a hole for a TV show and you found a like a skeleton or something <laughs> down there? 
Or meteorite. Or or me- <laughs> yeah, I know. John- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look, he's like a father. Oh, Oh, this is... He was terrifying, Damon. So Damon Harriman coming up was a... a, is a semi-regular, I believe, on the TV show Justified. Excellent TV show. And he he seems like such a... uh, Tell us about him, uh, Michael. He seems like he's actually Australian, right? You know, he is such a strong actor. He just... And when he came there, Vince... Uh-huh. He was just this guy for the entire time that he was there. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know him in any other way, to be totally honest. He's sort of very methody. Oh, my goodness. He stayed in it kind of like every moment. Mm. And, you know, again, our art department, this was an empty house when we scouted it. Wow. So Mark Freeborn in the art department created this environment. I know you were selling it earlier, so. Oh, yeah? How do you know that? Uh, Tucker. Me. God, such a great Tucker look. Needs to learn to keep his damn mouth shut. Tucker! Tucker! And Nelson did a great job of putting yeah. him in that little little spot of light so, there and having him walk in and out of it. Nice. Was there a, there was a moment, wasn't it, where where he was in, in the script that he was naked doing this? Oh yeah. Was there originally? Yeah. Originally. Yeah. Good, Jenny. Do you want to talk about that? Since there you love a, <laughs> nakedness and sex so much. <laughs> we went back and forth. Yeah. I think first he was in underwear, but that's sort of a Walt thing, and we didn't want to step yeah. on that. And then he was naked for a brief period of time. And to be fair, I think that was something I was, was, I, was kind of, yeah, I was kind yeah. of pushing. Yeah. For, the, for once, that was not Jenny wanting to see you know the guy naked. That was me. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Vince, for defending my honor. But then we thought it'd be uncomfortable for the actor, and yeah, you know, it's maybe too much of a, too much, too much weirdness. It's difficult to shoot. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you when this. I talked to him after he did this, and and when it was finally over and it, and it calmed down. This is this was such a good guy, and yeah. obviously mm. so dedicated, but yeah. just a, a very good guy. A from, tremendous actor. I mean, he was really willing to go anywhere we wanted to go with him. From an acting standpoint, that kind of performance is exhausting because you're not just doing it once, you're doing it all day long. And emotionally to be vibrating at that level is mm-hmm. unbelievable. And, and, not, and, and physically just not to lose your voice, literally. Yeah. Yeah. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I mean, he's screaming all day long. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. That was actually a, a network note that we should hold, we should go out on that last shot. Yes, it was. That was a suggestion yeah. of a shot from them, wasn't it? I, I mean, think we, it was. They, yeah. they, they, suge- they, they, they brought that in and said, well, why don't you try this? And we did, and it worked great. Yeah, that, it was worked. A, that was a good network note. Look at these. Oh, they're yeah. so happy. Oh. What oh, watch? No. Ray Campbell. Ray Campbell. Ray, who's <laughs> from Guyana. Yeah. Which yeah. I, I was talking to him about it. I said, because I, I was reading this book about Jonestown, and I said, Guyana as in, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's that's a, it. He's a, he rolled his unfortunately, eyes. Said, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yeah. Infamous. But doesn't he have a lot of classical training? Where oh, did yes. he go to school? I think he grew up in New York. I don't know. Yeah. He, he went to some prestigious I think he went school. to Juilliard, yeah. actually. I just saw him in something. I forgot. I was some TV thing, and he just played the, the nicest guy. It was so odd. He's terrific. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's an excellent actor. Ah, uh, me love. Before we go back again. Yeah. So I would imagine, Stu, we're Finally. back here. So we all this was shot in one day. One day. Uh, yeah. Because you wouldn't you wouldn't go obviously you wouldn't leave and come back and go back to the same place. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I love. I love you just we... always moved it around. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason we were tenting it in is you don't want to uh, make the company work all night long unless. You, it's an exterior scene and you have to. So gotcha. we create the night inside. And then by the time we were done with all these scenes, it was night for the night scene. John Carlo. I love this scene between you two guys. Hit our truck, away now, our now, how does this work though? Cause now obviously it really is night outside. Mm-hmm. Cause we're, so how do you schedule something like this? All about well, Carefully. The, <laughs> <laughs> the 80s and the director talk, they figure out, pretty much what's going to be done during the day, and they we do a call time based on no. winding up outside at night. Gotcha. AD department is keenly aware of sunset times, uh, weather forecasts, all those things are considered. But let me hire 
and we had lunch in between scenes, right? I, now yeah. look at those blue eyes. Oh my god! Oh, piercing, wow. they, piercing. Uh, it's distracting, heartbreaking. <laughs> I would do anything you told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> and Vince, even though the show the show feels very fluid and that it moves along, every single shot that we do on every episode is meticulously planned. Mm -hmm. Yes, everything is planned in advance yes. so that. On the day, it goes as efficiently as possible. Yes. How did he do today? Wonderful uh, logistical, uh, expert logistics that go into each and every one of these episodes to make it make it run smoothly. I, lo I love I love uh, I love you out here. Aaron. Look at that acting! Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, the shot is great. Where you see the the reflection of himself in there, it's fantastic. A little track here. Oh, I realize where this is now from that reflection in the window. Yeah. That's that crazy neon thing, that arch you drive yeah. through on Central. Right. Yeah. I thought this was elsewhere, but now I know where it is. We started this day uh, at the uh, parking lot, the uh, used car parking lot, and then when we moved here, there was a surprise. Do you want to talk about that, Michael? I like to think I see. Yeah, the uh, another show that shoots in town, uh, in plain sight, had put up a poster uh, advertising their show right behind where Giancarlo just was. <laughs> <laughs> then I think our art department put up a canceled. <laughs> over that <laughs> I, I believe it wasn't a, a mustache or something on one of the actresses face. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yes, it may have put a mustache. Yeah, I think it was a mustache. That's perfect. Sure. Yeah. But there's no competition. <laughs> but she also mentioned there was a softball game between the two uh yes. between the two yeah. uh, maybe maybe we shouldn't mention that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just a joke. <laughs> Charity, charity softball. Yeah. Yeah. So we won that. They, 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 yeah, we totally. They cheated. <laughs> yeah, they actually did cheat. They did. We were up by so many points. Yeah, points. There you go. You don't play softball, do you? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? So many runs? There we go. Oh, runs. runs. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Oh, you have so other athletic. qualities. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little counter move when yeah. Brian goes up stage and Anna comes down to us. It's yeah. very telling. Oh. You know, the distance between us. Yeah. That, that made sure. And I promise to always go to the speed limit. Or and below, also, just below. this is our stage as well, and you see that little water effect that we've been using on the windows behind it to keep us keep the conceit going, that uh, the belief that we're really on our location there. Oh, with like, the pool in the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, that's great. Nice. That's actually just a shallow box with broken mirror and mm -hmm. water in it and a light shining down through it. They just call it a splash box, I guess, Michael? Yeah, and, and a very interested prop person there who sits there the whole time uh, Shakes it. With, shaking the water. Yeah. You get that little effect of, really like the pool. It's amazing all the little details that go into anything, into making anything. Any TV show you've ever seen, this one or any other, all the all the little all the details have to go into it. Is there a real baby in the uh, at this point? Yes. I don't know. There is a real baby. <laughs> oh, there is. It doesn't matter. And very cutely. <laughs> You'll see. Yeah. Like a, uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at the little hands. <laughs> Production value. Look at the hands. <laughs> that doll was phenomenal. <laughs> we put yeah. the batteries in, and all of a sudden, they're just, just going like yeah. crazy. But, that's the, it, but it's a good point bringing up because we have very strict laws that define when and for how long we can have babies on the set. Yeah. We don't abide by them, yeah. but, but they are strict. <laughs> So <laughs> the babies yes, now in, in, no, in, in this shot, for instance, there's no baby on the set. Right. So anytime you see, well, not, not count you, <laughs> right? Oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> so no baby when there's no, no baby. The show. <laughs> We're not talking about tantrums. <laughs> I want you to know something. I want you to. I need you to understand. Anna does so much here. I mean, Brian is delivering, you know, most of the yeah. lines here, but but Anna is just now, selling it. Somewhere in here, Michael, we had a problem with something in in the post, and we had to go back and reshoot one of these little sections, didn't we? Indeed, we it, it was not a post. We had a focus issue, and it was on uh, what I consider to be the most important line of the whole show, and one of the most important, I think, of of the of the show okay. ever. And um, uh, I had to go make my case as to why I wanted to reshoot it. Mm. Um, but it's the line coming up where she says, "Who's going to protect this family?" Mm -hmm. Oh, and I don't uh, think it man. was. And I don't think it was much of a case. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, we all we want the show yeah. to be in focus. Tomorrow. Well, you know what? But I was I was actually going to commend you before with the shot 
inside the uh, the crack house, he was going in and out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I love that. Oh, that I was I loved great. him going in and out of focus. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. So we, we use out of focus in this show, in the language of this show, a lot. Yeah. And selective focus a lot, where, mm-hmm. where some things are in focus, other things are out on purpose. Thinking, Walt. I was thinking that I wanted to do something nice for my son. There's a mistake. You're out of focus on me, and that's the <laughs> that's a mistake. But you live with those things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they wouldn't take my they wouldn't. That was not a convincing mm-hmm. argument I made for reshooting that part, Brian. <laughs> they said no way. AFOB, always focus on Brian, is uh, a motto that I'm going to start. Bitch mother for taking away what his loving. Why can't she understand the nice thing you're trying to do for your son? I know. Thanks for that. With the Chrysler product, a lovely, (laughs) wonderful Chrysler product. This is the shot. Someone has to protect this family from the man who protects this family. That we actually came back and shot Brian Howell months later. Months later. Yeah. Months later, we had to come back and shoot that bit. And it's, you know. You can't even tell. No, you can't. Oh, I love that. It's a little, it's a little dicey for the actor to go. Wait a minute, where was I? And so, uh, wonderfully, um, Stu comes in with a little clip of the scene we shot, so that the actress can look at it and say, "Ah, that's the emotion. That's where we were yeah. at that moment, at what level," yeah. and to be able to recreate that. You guys do a great job, and really great job, Jenny. Great writing and, and really good. Great mm-hmm. directing, Michael. Great. Everybody, great job. Thanks, Vince. And these are our crew members, and applause to them. The ones you can never see when it's on TV because they run them at a million miles an hour and yeah. put a commercial yeah. for Short That's Circuit so 2 up instead. So, wrong. so pay close attention. These are the folks who made the show. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you.